Hello everyone, this is Puka and welcome to another game I played on the Pokemon trading card game online. This game I'm going to be using my Rayquaza Electric deck going up against a player named Deep Crow 4434. Don't know if that has any significance, but uh, we are going to be going first against a Shocker, a Darkrai. And uh, we'll see what is going to happen here. I'm going to take a look through my deck, play a level ball. Get to search for a Pokemon with 98 points or less, so I'm probably going to end up grabbing a Tynamo. My other option would be to grab that Emolga, which has the Call for Family attack, which, um, for one energy allows you to search for two basic Pokemon and put them on your bench. But I still had only one Switch in my deck, which means they're a bunch prized. Uh, and that means that I should not be going for that strategy, because odds are I'm not going to draw my Switch. So I just grab a Tynamo. Instead, attach my energy to my Mewtwo, and pass. So this is a Rayquaza Electric deck. You are aiming to get as many Electrics in play as possible, like the one in my hand. It has the Dynamotor ability, allows you to um, grab a Lightning Energy from your discard pile, and attach it to one of your bench Pokemon, bypass the 1 Energy Attachment per turn rule. Uh, really good if you can get 2 or 3 Electrics in play. Power up the Rayquaza. Dragon Burst for a ton of damage every turn. That's the strategy. Now my opponent is playing Darkrai, which is probably the fastest, most consistent, and almost most powerful deck. It's silly that all three of those can be said for the same deck, but um, yeah, Darkrai of course has been a very good card since it was released. Night Spear does 90 damage to the active, 32 benched Pokemon for 3 energy. You have the built-in energy acceleration with Dark Patch, and now we have Hypnotoxic Laser to make things even worse. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Darkrai is pretty good, I guess. And, uh, we'll probably see that here. My opponent starts off with... I mean, turn one, he gets an attachment to the active. He gets a Dark Patch, which takes a Darkrai out of the discard pile, attaches it to his bench Darkrai. And, uh, now all it's gonna take is one more attachment, followed by an energy switch. And that will knock me out. Um, he'll get a Night Spear, he'll get to knock me out. So here I'm just deciding what I want to do, and I get a level ball for a third Tynamo. Since I have no Lightning Energy in my discard pile currently, I figure getting another Tynamo is better than getting an Electric. And then I have to decide, do I want a Bianca for two cards, since you draw until you have six, or Chorus, which would net me five cards, since you draw one for each Pokemon on uh, the bench for each player. And I still don't draw a Switch or a Sky Arrow Bridge. I believe I have plenty of that stuff left in my deck. Like I said, there are there's only one Switch in my deck, which is annoying. So I can't retreat the Tynamo. It's stuck up there, and I'm forced to pass for the turn. And probably face down a Night Spear pretty soon. Um, and there is the, the, the card I hate the most. Hypnotoxic Laser. There's going to be a Professor Juniper. And a Verbank City Gym. So, those are the cards that I hate the most in this world. And uh, pretty annoying that my opponent got one out right there. But uh, he plays an Ultra Ball, grabs a Sableye. And uh, looks like he's discarded three lasers already, which is pretty bad. Also a Dark Claw. And he's going to retreat into Sableye. So he might have a bad hand. Uh, not too sure what the deal is. He could just confuse Raimi here for ten. And then the... Poison plus Verbank would finish me off. Or it looks like he's just going to Junk Hunt for a Hypnotoxic Laser and then a Catcher as well. So I'm going to play my Ultra Ball here to, first of all, get a Lightning Energy in the discard pile. Second of all, um, I'll search for an Electric. And third, it's going to put my hand size down so that I can draw more cards with that Bianca. So we are discarding... Lightning and Emolga. Uh, Emolga is kind of worthless now that I've actually, you know, gotten many basics into play. So I have Bianca there, and oh, that is brutal. Uh, I miss an energy attachment for the turn. And I also miss a Sky Air Bridge. And I also miss a Switch. And I also miss Computer Search. Any of those cards would have allowed me to Dynamotor onto my Mewtwo, and then put him up active and X-Ball. The save life for a knockout. But instead, uh, I have to make sure that my Tynamo doesn't get knocked out by poison. I need to use Keldeo's Russian to put that active. 
I dynamoted an energy to it first to make it easier to retreat, but uh, that is painful. You know, if my opponent can pull off a Night Spear this turn, which is probably going to happen, he can hit the active Keldeo for 90, and then hit the Tynamo for 30, which will knock it out. And he's retreating to the Darkrai, so there we go, there's an energy switch, also a bicycle, don't see that very often. Uh, if he has a Catcher, it could be even more devastating. Catcher Electric, and knock out Electric, and Tynamo take two prizes at once. But it looks like that's just going to be it. Um, just going to see a Night Spear on the active Keldeo, which is fine too, because it hits that for 90, which eventually will... I mean, it's going to add up. With the extra damage from Poison, puts Keldeo at 120 damage. So... Realizing how annoying Verbank City Gym is, I decide to uh, computer search and search for my Sky Arrow Bridge, get that into play, kick out the Verbank City Gym, replace it with my own stadium, which allows me to retreat the Keldeo EX uh, for one instead of the two retreat costs that it normally has. And now I have to decide what I want to do from here. Uh, I'm going to Ultra Ball. Discarding two supporters there, it's kind of painful, but it seems like my best option here. And uh, I'm going to Ultra Ball for my Rayquaza EX. This is my main attacker. You know, it, Dragon Burst does a ton of damage. For it, it costs a Fire and a Lightning, but then you, you get to discard um, either all your Fire or all your Lightning. It does 60 for each one you discard. So if you discard three Lightning Energy, you do 180 damage. That's basically going to be the goal. Discard three Lightning do 180, and then repeat, because the Electric can cycle through with Dynamotor. And so my opponent recognizes this, says, hey, I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to catch her up your Electric, hit it for 90, knock it out, and also soften up your Keldeo, taking away your option to um, use Dynamotor, basically. So, uh, kind of annoying, but <clears throat> this is where having Mewtwo actually helps a lot, because it, it gives you a place to put your energy and not have to get rid of them all the time. Um, so, I get to use X-Ball every turn, and I don't have to discard my energy. So, it just stays there. Whereas with Rayquaza, sure, the attack is super powerful, but in order to use it, you have to discard all your energy. So the difference here is, even though he's knocking out Electric, I can still attack consistently with X-Ball, and it won't do the same amount of damage as Dragon Burst would, but it's still pretty darn good. So here I'm going to X-Ball again for 100, knocking out that Darkrai. Going to tie the game up at four prizes each. Now the difference is that I have a Keldeo EX with 150 damage on it. So all it takes is one Night Spear. And he can take two prizes on that Keldeo EX, go down two prizes. And then all of a sudden, he's only going to knock out either the Mewtwo or the Rayquaza, or he can knock out Electric... And then Tynamo. And what he can do here is catch her up Electric, Night Spear, um, knock out the active, and then hit Keldeo X for 30. He'll take three prizes at once. But the problem with that is, if he does that, I get to knock out his Darkrai. And um, he won't have another Darkrai waiting. Also, I'll play an N, I'll put him at one card, and I'll actually be in a very good position. But here we saw something pretty weird. Um... He actually wasn't able to Night Spear me there. So he had to use the turn to go ahead and um, just Junk Hunt to get some cards back. And so this is going to open up a, a big window of opportunity here. You can see if you miss just one turn of Night Spearing, what this means in this matchup. Uh, Rayquaza Electric, Electric decks in general just feel like they always are on their deathbed. But you can see here, this deck is still actually pretty powerful. And I'm, I'm going to Dragon Burst here. I got a Catcher that was huge. I get to bring up his Darkrai. Dragon Burst for 180 damage. And take two prizes. And just like that, it's a four prize swing back in my favor. And it looks like there's no way I can actually lose anymore. Because it's going to be almost impossible for my opponent to pull off a Night Spear this turn. He would need to get Darkrai down. Uh, he would need to get a Dark Patch to get an energy in play. An attachment, and then either a second Dark Patch or an Energy Switch, which is a lot of cards to have. And since he already played that Skyla, I know it's not going to happen. He's already played a Supporter for the turn, so he just gets a Dark Rye into play. And all of a sudden, I mean, we have all of our bases covered. 
if uh, if Darkrai ever comes up and attacks, I will have Rayquaza ready, and uh, I'm just going to skip the whole process and top deck my catcher. I get to rush in with Keldeo EX. This is what Keldeo provides you. It's uh, very flexible when you have Sky Hero Bridge in play. You get to rush in, and then Dynamotor twice onto Rayquaza, and then I can just retreat back to the Rayquaza. I now have three more energy instantly, and just like that, three turns, three knockouts, six prizes. Game over. This is the power of the Rayquaza Electric deck, and I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon. You know, it, starting with Tynamo is scary, it only has 40 hit points, but that is seriously the only downfall of the deck. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, I'll have some more videos for you soon, Puka here from the Top Cut, and I'll see you guys next time.